think about what could inspire that kind of natural wonder that would be brought on by nature. And whether that's taking a look at, you know, accessory toys or, or furniture elements that you can incorporate and that have that kind of textural appeal. Uh, we definitely have seen a little bit more of uh, kind of pushing the envelope and design of people getting really creative with what they're doing with their wall treatments. And again, stone being this kind of timeless material that you can work with this organic material um, that you can kind of play with. It certainly shouldn't, you know, discourage anyone from going up the walls with it. And what better material to kind of have kids gravitate to from a tactile experience to want to kind of touch and rub their hands across it. Um, to kind of take a look at the different colors that are involved and not just your, you know, rainbow color toys that are, you know, typically kind of given with kids, but much more of these natural and calming and still kind of, you know, fun and creative palettes. Um, it definitely, you know, I think can spark wonder. I think it also will help, you know, children possibly tie in if there was you know, an organic or natural material that was involved in their, you know, play area or play space. When they go out for a walk, when they are, you know, if you guys take any nature hikes, you know, it's definitely something that I think kids can naturally connect the two. And if they experience a, you know, a wonderful warm moment out in nature with their parents or with their friends to be able to kind of come home to that and have a space where it is reminiscent of that, um, I think it's just, it's such a beautiful moment that you can create and it certainly is, it certainly lends itself to how your architecture and your design can help influence kind of the environment or the moments that you want to happen, happen into that space.